How to join raids to complete your Bankai, Vault, or Res progression. What's good everyone? Zuko here. Alright guys, I'm gonna put y'all on some game, and it works 100% of the time, guaranteed. So if you're struggling to find, join, or participate in any raids when they're happening, you need to listen, and don't forget to share with your friends. I was able to finish all 175 raids on my Quincy slot, and completed stage 1 for Vault in less than 10 hours doing this strat. Now, I wasn't initially going to drop this, but I'm not the one to gatekeep. So if you find any of this information useful, please make sure to like this video and subscribe since I will be uploading daily type cell content. Now, before I drop the method, I'm going to give y'all some extra advice. Only do raids at grade 2 plus, since that's when you are required to do raids for progression. I forgot to add, I have my discord linked in my comments, so if you're interested, join up. If you didn't know, KT raids don't go towards your Bankai or Vault progression. So if you really need it for the KT shop, do them, otherwise avoid them. You also gotta attack opposite faction homelands, as if I was a Quincy, I would go to Soul Society. If I was a Soul Reaper, I'll go to Hokumundo, and if I was an Arankar, I would go to Wanden. Now these are the times I use for raids, and they work for me every single time. You can also get in late. But I like security, and me personally, I don't mind the wait. I usually listen to music or watch YouTube. Make sure to watch my other videos. Now, once you find a server that's about 10 minutes away from starting a raid, sit in a place to hide and join your faction Discord server. So if I'm a Quincy, I would join the public wanted server and head over to SS Raids. SS stands for Soul Society, and I will drop my server, my region, and how long do I have before the raid starts. But you can type whatever to get your point across, but this works best for me. And that's basically it. Now watch your fellow brethrens join and flood the server. Then boom, you are guaranteed a raid to start, and you can can afk the entire time because nine times out of ten everyone else is doing the same people are pretty chill for the most part but just remember if you post the wrong times or post a full server people will get mad and i get it people get things wrong or the server fills up quickly so if someone gives you like a bad reply just don't reply to it just don't even give them any attention here's some extra game if you sent a message five minutes ago it's safe to say you can send another message. If people are active and they are in your game, they will post for you. So essentially, all the work has been taken care of. And if you're consistent, people will wait for you to find a server for them. So I guess that's some of the good benefits of being a server caller. I also want to remind everyone, I am just a normal person. I have no special powers, no perms, no nothing in type so. So if you see me in game or yapping in the discord, feel free to chat with me. I hope this helps everyone. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.